Welcome back to Gear Check Games. This is episode 7 of our Pokemon Gold for the Game Boy Color playthrough. Last time, uh, we arrived in Goldenrod City, and we got ourselves a radio card. And, uh, and now it's time to do some shopping. Radio Tower. Radio Goog... I don't know. <laughs> uh, how do y'all feel about the uh, radio card mechanic in this game? I always kind of forget that it's a thing. I don't know what it does. Um, I'm, more, I'm more focused on there's different radio sh like there's a lottery show there's one that like increases oh, the likelihood yeah. of wild Pokemon appearing when you're in grass or caves or whatever yeah um in crystal there's one where you get a password and if you turn it into the right lady at the radio tower she gives you like points that can be used to buy like special items Okay, so out of morbid curiosity, the radio station that increases your encounter rate, do you have to reactivate it after every battle, or does it just keep going? I think it's a daily thing. Well, no, the, I think you can... Password. Oh, are you talking about the password? Because I was going to say, the, um, the Pokemon music channel, I actually don't remember if you have to like go back into the menu and reset it. Because again, I don't typically use the... <laughs> the radio apps, but know, knowing this development studio, I would say, yeah, you probably have to go back in and reset it every time. Like, yeah, like that would make sense for. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, one of these by all means, go ahead and school me in the comments. I'm happy to be wrong in this case, but I'm just, what? you know, I'm just what, looking at my like experiences course. here. Oh, you don't have enough Oops. money. You better. Yeah, I've been I've been buying a lot of potions because I don't like to make. A million trips to the uh, Pokemon Center in this game. C can we All take right. a moment Time to, to make a sale? Who's the lowest performing Pokemon on your team? <laughs> oh no! But buy egg. <laughs> can well, I offer you an no egg fair. in these trying times? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a pretty rough time to be a Pokemon trainer. On that uh, note, can we can we take a moment to mourn the loss of the Celadon department store? Oh, I know. You know, that had, like, useful items and TMs at it, as opposed yeah. to, like, you know, these well, are the ones we feel like you should have and not necessarily, like, the optimal moves that you could give to your Pokemon. Yeah, well, the ones, the, the three main ones in, in Celadon that you could get, you you really didn't even buy them, you traded for them? Mm-hmm. For, uh, what was it, Ice Beam? Oh, yeah, on the floor. rooftop, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, what was the hey, third she one? likes this. Try attack. Oh yeah, so now that we're done shopping and stocking up on potions, we gotta go t take on one of the uh, one of the biggest wall gems for a lot of casual players. You saying there was a reason? You saying there was a reason why you stocked up on items, Trey? Is there some just some kind of wild difficulty think? spike on the horizon? Yes. Okay, I have no excuse for mixing up those two names. I'm sorry. We got done shopping, now we're gonna go fight Satan. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta stock up on Gatorade and, and vitamins before you fight fight old Whitney. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see in a minute, but she's got, like you said, uh, she's got a, a difficulty spike Pokemon in the form of Miltank. Uh-huh. Um, well, it's one of those... Strength. It's one of those Pokemon kind of like Scyther, but like a more extreme example where... You don't really have access to a Pokemon that good at this stage in the game, so yeah. you just kind of have to deal. What you know, which is fine. Like, you know, I'm all for coming up with a strategy, even if the strategy that I ended up coming up with is pretty boring and slow, but it works. Yeah, I think isn't there one fighting Pokemon you can have access to at this point? Can't you trade for a Machop somewhere? That's true. And yeah, go, but at the same time, he's also gonna be. A traded Pokemon, so he's gonna not obey you above level twenty. Mm -hmm. Well, and you're also gonna make sure you're also gonna have to make sure you have a move that's powerful enough to like take her Pokemon down as like quickly. Yeah. Because boy, we're really putting the cart before the horse here. But you know, stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> if you've played Gen two, you know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, ev ev everything. Everything else in her gym is uh, cannon fodder. Uh huh. It's 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 nothing compared to her. She she earns the title gym leader. Well, most of these trainers are here basically to just give you experience so you can fight the bosses, right? 
Yeah, pretty much. Which kind of takes some of the of these... magic out of it when you think about it like that, but, you know. Yeah. That's a scam design for you. I think, is it this lady? The next lady is one of the few people what? who has a Meowth early in the game. But she said that? Oh, there it is! <laughs> yeah. oh, we found us. I wish you and your Evolve we Farm were better, because I really oh, like your squish. design. Hey, man, his his typing and evolutions in um, Sword and Shield are nothing to... Nothing to sneeze at. Like oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're they're pretty good. That's true. Give me give me a good single type seal single steel type any day. I don't know, man. You can't beat that OG design. True. I'm th okay, so that, that reminds me. <laughs> I'm not a Gen Oneer, by the way. I just really like Meowth. So, something that will always bug me for as popular as Meowth is, and and I understand the appeal of Eevee. For Let's Go Pikachu, why wasn't the counterpart Let's Go Meowth? And make, like, make the, was... Just make it the long-awaited Team Rocket-centric game. Yeah. The people have been asking for version. for years, along with the imp implausible game where you visit every region. And your oh, starter wow. Eevee can't even evolve, can it? No. But no. Again, I mean, it gets so a just, bunch like, of, like... takes away the whole point of Eevee. Yeah. Right, but I think it also has like boosted stats compared to a normal Eevee, and it also oh, yeah, uh, gets the... it gets all these like crazy moves that kind of give it coverage. Oh yeah, let, let's go Pikachu and Eevee are grossly overpowered. Uh huh. Yeah, I there was a point in that game where they're just too good. I just I just made it make them ride on my shoulder. I don't even use them after a little yeah, while because I'm like I it's think, too easy. I think it's to the point where like from what I saw closer to when the game came out. People were doing like challenge runs of the game and saying that it was like harder than other Pokemon games if you just don't use your starter. Yeah. Because they carry you that hard. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, well, but with the starter, it's like one of the easiest. Honestly, I don't really know how I feel about the concept of like starting a poke. I mean, I, I know. You, you know, you can like box your starter Pokemon, you can use any Pokemon that are available in the game. But I kind of object to the idea, even in the case of, like, yellow version, of only giving you the choice to start with one Pokemon. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, part of the appeal of, of playing Pokemon is, like, putting your team together and, like, picking the Pokemon that you like, you know? It's kind of a reflection of your tastes and preferences and the stuff you like. Yeah. And if you only have one what? starter you can choose from and it's, you know, it's your first Pokemon game, you might... I don't know. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it's just it's just kind of a minor little thing that, like I I, yeah. I I usually choose to play like red and blue over yellow for that reason, just because. Yeah. You know. I think that's like the appeal of those games. It's like it's not your traditional experience. It's going to be slightly tweaked. Right. Yeah, it has its place. It's, yeah. Um, uh, our friend Rob, he. Oh. oh finally. <gasps> now we're gonna get really hard. This is uh <laughs> is is this is this our Whitney killer Trey? Uh no. Actually, well yes. Uh I I think part of me was like maybe I could put her to sleep. Maybe I you could throw Butterfree in to soak up a hit. While you I switch in a Pokémon actually you can't just, You got to tease these things. You can't just blurt it all out right in front of the right for the big moment. I, so <laughs> I like that your your green bean turned into a beautiful butterfly and it got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Just Wait like in real life. Are we missing something? Nah, I think we're good. I'll do the next sound. <laughs> yeah. We've seen Gotta all there was to see. I've done that before, where I go, like, all the way through a gym. <laughs> like, have do, do this very thing to prepare for the boss and forget. I'm like, oh, I can't use this HM here, or, like, what the hell? Back there, oh, Trey, oh, yeah. I thought you were oh. I thought you were going to go into the casino. And I was like, dude, you haven't even lost yet. Why are you so depressed? <laughs> Excellent. Egg. There he is. <laughs> it's Greg. It's whom? Greg the Egg. Toe Greg P. This is this is the lovely Toga P. Oh. Everyone's first oh. flyer. Over easy. Over. <laughs> okay. A. Over easy. Oh. That's better than what I thought you were gonna name it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you started with over. <laughs> Nothing is over. Gonna name it. Nothing. <laughs> I am so, horrified and confused. <laughs> so is... Just another Pokemon, day on GCG. Is Pokemon Gold the first, like, big major game that had loot boxes? 
<laughs> in the form of eggs. Oh my god. Well, not in the form... Oh. You mean... Well, no, because this generation didn't have IVs yet. But it did have oh, something wow. similar. Determinant I values. I forgot about that. Yeah. I was thinking about, like, oh, yeah, I mean, like, you get a, you get a Pokemon that are already in the game, you'd have to pay for them, so they're not like that. A dozen, well, you, a dozen eggs for twelve dollars. Let's but go. But then you got <laughs> I, you bring IVs into it, but like Game Freak ain't even making any money off of that. They yeah. just did it to be annoying jerks, right? <laughs> you know, Crystal, you could say the the egg you get from the daycare couple is a uh, bit of a loot box. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, that one has like a bunch of different Pokemon and a really high probability of them being shiny. Yeah. That's how I got a shiny Cleffa mm -hmm. before when I was a kid. I forget if I told this story earlier in the playthrough, and, and bear with me, folks. It's like several weeks in between these sessions. <laughs> I know we're only on part seven, but um, there was one time... It was actually when I was doing my test run when like we were planning to have me run Gen 2. Um, oh, yeah. I was soft resetting the mystery egg in order to get a Smoochum, because I wanted to use Jinx on my team. Um, but in the process of doing so, I hatched a shiny Tyrogue, uh, which is like one of the rarest Pokemon you can get from that, um, it's like tied for the rarest Pokemon you can get from that, um, egg. And because it was the virtual console version on 3DS, like, that Tyrogue is transferable to, like, other Pokemon games. Yeah. <laughs> but I still soft reset and lost it uh. because I wanted that smooch. <laughs> Yeah, Joe, I, why? I don't know. What are? Who cares? I know there's like a. You you missed out on that incredible value of the the, the mess of pixels with a different color on the screen. <laughs> yeah, well. <sighs> Think of the value. I know, I know. It keeps me up. It keeps me awake at night. I forget what's the other super rare drop from the egg. It's Tyrogan something else. I think the other one might be Shiny Smoochum. Oh, okay. Tyrone. Maybe it's shiny it... Pichu. Like, I know there's a pretty high chance of getting Pichu and, like, Elekid, Cleffa. Oh, there's Iglybuff. a high chance of getting Cleffa and Igglybuff, let me tell you. <laughs> I got two shiny Cleffas before I Let's got go. a single, like, regular Smoochum. Oh, yeah, here she is. Yep, Here's... The, the menace. Evil. <laughs> evil, 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 evil. It's Brittany. No, it's Whitney. So, she... <laughs> She opens up with quite literal cannon fodder, like, it's, Clefairy is not scary in the least. Is Clefairy Cle flipping us off? Yeah, Clefairy probably. Clefairy look, looks at me like, she's like, what like, are you gonna I'm do? gonna get ya. Like, bet between... Did the sonic finger whack. <laughs> <laughs> between, uh, Metronome and Sing, like, the possibilities of the moves it could do are, like, any move in the game. Or it could just put you to sleep. Hey, get your cursor off the screen. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trey, I thought you were playing this on the Super Game Boy, remember? I'm playing it on the Game Boy SP. Yeah. Of the custom-made uh, capture device. I think I remember one time I took on Whitney. I, I went up against this uh, Clefairy. Oh, there he is. <gasps> And I, I, she used freaking metronome on my starter, and she got freaking sheer cold. Oh jeez! <laughs> and hit it. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Because like, what are the odds of that? Throws the Game Boy. I was like, "Well, I'm resetting." <laughs> Whoa! Good crit. Oh, well, if you're not gonna play fair, neither am I. Oh yeah. Oh no! It begins. So my, I think my strat here is rollout already has a real, like a. It's got a like, what is it? Eighty-five accuracy. Uh huh. Something like that. Yeah, it's. Well, I mean, when the when the computer is using it, it has a hundred percent accuracy at all times. Uh, uh, wait, even really? when you were, well, no, I'm I'm oh. kind of being a little cheeky here, but um, I wouldn't be surprised. So so for those they who haven't they... played uh, Pokemon before or haven't played this gen, rollout is a move that locks you into using oh, it God. repeatedly when you select. <laughs> oh no, you monster! <laughs> We're trying to soak these rollouts. That's a level three rollout. You're subjecting Dang. this bab to the cruelty of the world <laughs> <laughs> mere moments after being born. <laughs> All right, Togepi, it's your turn. Get him, hmm, shroom. Born to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's like the only battle we ever see Togepi into. <laughs> oh, my God. It died for real. 
<laughs> this is now a, um, a Nuzlocke run. If you die in the game, you die for real. <laughs> Good lord. Like, this is with, like, accuracy down, right? Because you landed that smoke screen. Yeah, I landed that first Good smoke God. screen. So this should be, like, a 65 or something accuracy move now. <laughs> we literally have one guy left. See, nor normally, um, if you go into a normal type gym and you're having trouble with, like, their ace Pokemon, you'd be like, oh, I'll just use a ghost type. But unfortunately for you, the signature move of this normal type Pokemon is a rock type move, so it doesn't really yeah. care whether you're a ghost type or not. Uh, the strat my brother uses uh, it does involve a ghost type. He usually gets ghastly. And yeah! curses this thing. Oh. Yeah! Blade Runner took him down. Yeah. Dude, deck. Deckard, like no spoilers, but Deckard's gonna be our MVP yeah. of this of this run. Well, it's, it's flat, flat. You know what do you expect? Sob. Yeah. Sob. That's the kind Sob. of car my dad used to drive. A sob. Oof. You child, you. Oh, you mad? Get mad! Come on! I like, this, like the same. I like thing. to imagine she's just like yelling this at Flaffy. <laughs> <laughs> She's just she's angry at an animal. Like, has no idea what she's saying. <laughs> like, yeah, boss, yeah, did I do you good? You can't escape. <laughs> oh no, you made Whitney cry. This is this is one thing Gen Two added more context for with the uh, the gym leaders. They made it more like they are people rather than just like bosses. Mm -hmm. It's like we'll we'll eventually get to Claire later. Like Claire has this like little she's she gets kind of huffy with you when you beat her. She doesn't believe it. She doesn't think you're worthy, so she makes you do a stupid menial task. Yeah. I wouldn't say there's anything particularly, like, amazing about the characterization of the gym leaders here, but it is a step up. Like, there are these couple of, like, little memorable moments. Yeah. Whereas in the previous games, most of the gym leaders, as I recall, with the exception of Giovanni, were just, like, you know, just a tough trainer standing in a room that you had to fight. What are you yeah. talking about? You don't remember the part where uh, you beat Brock and then he just joins you on your adventure for the rest of the game? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird. Like, just, you know. <laughs> I would love an edit. You know? Uh, I would love an edit of uh, Pokemon that Yellow. That from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2. Sorry, it's on the brain. Me and Mike are playing it on the outside. <laughs> Is Squirtball evolving the Squirtle? Mm, yes. In, well, actually, cool. in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the, you see the graphic of the squirt bottle in your item menu, and it is shaped like a squirtle. So that was a cute yeah. touch. No, nothing will will beat the Whelmer Pale from Gen Three for me. Yeah, that thing is adorable. What about the spray to... duck? Oh, is that from Gen Five? From Gen Four, I think. I forget what it is in oh. Gen Five, if anything. Actually, I don't think Gen 5 had, like, berry trees. Wasn't there a farm you get, eventually? I think you're thinking of Gen 6. Oh, yeah, because there's that giant farm you get to... That's just, like, a field of of dirt. And it's, like, the only dirt in the game. Uh-huh. All the dirt in Kalos is sequestered in this one elderly couple's backyard. Yeah. They have a dirt <laughs> monopoly. In all of France. You've got France. all the dirt in Kalos, and you're the only one who can use it, kid. Uh, well, we put Whitney's mill tank in the dirt, and next time we travel north. Jeez. Is that why she was crying? Yeah. <laughs> She's slowly turning into a ghost. <laughs> all right, folks, we'll see you next time. Next time. Next time.